So what do you understand by the document splitting? Document splitting means splitting your document line item according to the required characteristics. And these required characteristics could be the profit center, business area, segments. So why these are required? Actually, this is required for the reporting purpose. So for example, we are following the US gap, but as per the IFRS, we need to do our reporting. We need to present our profit and loss item, line item, according to the profit centers or according to the segment. So if that kind of reporting, we, we can't do it under the US gap, so we can take the help of this document splitting and it will help us to provide us the document line item or the financial statement according to the profit center or according to the segment or according to the business area. Now, what it will do? Actually, we post a accounting document. In that accounting document, we have the header and we have the line item. So system is going to split that line item data according to your profit center or according to your segment. So I'll give you the example also. So for example, this is the document we have for the before the document splitting activation. And it is saying that we posted, we post a purchase invoice. And under this purchase invoice, we have procured the two material. We have the material one and we have material two. So this material one is reporting or it is linked to the profit center one, whereas this material two, which we have procured, this is related to the profit center two PC mean profit center. Then after that, we have added tax and uh, the tax amount is consolidated. And then we can also see the account, PayPal account or your sub ledger account 55,000. So that is 55,000. That is the vendor account. So if you just see the tax line item and the account payable line item, so you can just see in this, these for these two line item. So we don't know that how much amount a system is going to assign to the profit center one or profit center two. So what we can do here. So here system is going to like if we activate the document splitting and this 5000 will be split by the system based on the purchase value. So for example, the purchase value is 20,000, 30,000. So based on that, so what could be the on a proportion, same proportion, if we calculate the tax, so it is going to be 2000, 3000, which is going to be which is going to be assigned to the profit center one and two. And the same case is going to be with your liability account with your balance sheet account, this vendor account, which is the sub ledger account. So system is going to split this 55,000. Again, based on the purchase value, uh, the system is going to calculate the proportion. It is going to be 22,000, 33,000. So this is the document we have after the splitting. You can just see earlier we were having here the consolidated 5,000 amount for the tax and consolidated sub ledger account or the vendor account balance as 55,000. Now the same system has split based on the purchase value and the same thing you will see for your account receivable accounting where the system is going to split this tax and in that uh, account receivable accounting we have the output tax. So that output tax is going to be split by the system based on the sale value and the account receivable accounting or your customer account will be debited again based on the sale value and that will be reporting to the profit center or the relevant profit center one or two so it is saying that using this document splitting functionality system is going to split the line item accounting document using the predefined criteria so this predefined criteria we can maintain in the system through the development for example it is saying that the above line item tax line item vendor line item system has a split it according to the purchase value so there are three types of document splitting available. One is the active document splitting. So this active document splitting example we have just seen and it is a rule based splitting where the system is going to split the line item in case of your AP purchase value in case of your AR sale value. And uh, what system is going to split system is going to split the taxes S system is going to split your vendor or customer line item. And it is saying that the next type of splitting we have the passive splitting. So this passive splitting we will be using for the payment uh, transaction for the clearing transaction. We'll be using it. 
So the way we have used the active splitting, same we will be using the passive splitting. So here it is saying that the rule, the rule because here we have uh, understood that in the active splitting there is a rule based splitting. So the rule which you have maintained in the active splitting, so the same rule we need to use in the passive splitting. We can't have two rule for active and passive. Then we have the zero balancing splitting which we can use to transfer the amount from one profit center to another profit center. So in that case, we will be using this zero balancing splitting. It is saying that the document splitting element, document splitting contain two things. So what are these two things? One, what line items are to be splitted? And second, what is the base for the splitting line item? So here it is saying that as I just shared with you, in case of your purchase invoice system, going to split your vendor line item and your input text line item. In case of your sales invoice system, going to split your customer line item as well as your output text line item. What is the base for the splitting line item? So for example, the base to split the line item in the purchase invoice is the purchase value. In the case of sales invoice, it is going to be the sale value. And how this splitting will happen? So for this splitting, we need to classify our GL according to the item category provided by the SAP. So there is a list of item category standard list provided by the SAP. We can't have our own customized item category. So we have to use that item category and we need to classify our GL our profit and loss and balance sheet GL according to that item category. So this item category uh, uh, is like income, expense, balance sheet, cash, GLs. So based on that, we need to classify our GL. We need to classify our accounts or GL. So now we'll see this document splitting in the system. Here actually we have taken example of a sales invoice. If we post a sales invoice system, we're going to debit the customer line item whereas your uh, revenue account your sale account is going to credit and this is going to credit the profit center steel this is going to credit your profit center cement but you can just see this ar line item this uh, customer line item system has not split it so if we apply the splitting then system is going to based on the sale value system is going to split in this uh, ar line item according to your profit center so out of this 200,000, so 150,000 will go to the profit center steel and remaining will go to the profit center cement so for this it is saying that we we need to go to the development development we have with the SPRO. Then we need to click on the IMG implementation guide and then we need to go to the new general ledger accounting under the financial accounting new we will get the new general ledger accounting. Go to the general ledger accounting new business transaction and here we have a option called document splitting. We can open it. First of all, we need to classify our GL according to the document splitting so we can Click on this system is going to ask for the chart of account ID. Chart of account ID we can provide as double two double four. Enter. So we have already maintained our GL according to the item category. We have balance sheet, revenue. Then we have twenty thousand for the expense. If you press F four key, system has already given you the item category. You need to classify your GL according to these item category. We can't have our own new item category or customized item category. So based on the chart of account you have maintained, so you can classify your GL so for four and under your chart of account, whatever the account group you have. So based on these account group, you can classify your GL according to the item category. So for example, here we have the range 100,000 to 2999. So this is for the balance sheet account. So here we have the balance sheet account. These two. Asset and liability 100,000 to 2999. So, this we have maintained under the balance sheet account. Item category 1000 or 0, 1000. And then we have for the revenue account, the range is from 300,000 to 39999. So, we have given the item category as 30,000, which is for the revenue. And the last for the expense, we have the range from 400,000 to 49999. And we have given here the item category as 20,000, which is expense. So we need to select this item category. Description will come automatically. After that, we need to save it and then we need to come out of here. And then we can go to the next option document type for the document splitting. So if we have maintained a new document type, so for example, here we have 
OBA7 transaction code for the document type. And you can just see we have a list of document types. So if you have created a new document type, a customized document type, so that new document type we like normally maintain with the first character Z. So here Z or Y, these are the document type, customized document type we maintain. In the OBA7 transaction code, if you add a new custom document type, so the same document type system will just show you here in this screen and what you need to do you need to give this transaction and variant information transaction and variant information so for example here we have that z document type also okay and this is the zb okay or zi so you can just see for this customized document type we don't have or we have not provided this information for the transaction and variant so based on you can take the reference of this uh, standard document type we have as a triple zero one so the same information we can maintain here and after that the document type system is going to pick for your document splitting after that we can come out of here we can go to this option called document splitting characteristics for the general ledger account click on this and in this whatever the criteria you want to have through which you want to do the reporting for example you want to have the profit center wise reporting segment wise reporting business area wise reporting so these are the standard one if you want to add here you can add it so here you can choose that particular uh, criteria according to which criteria you want to do the reporting so we have the standard like business area profit center segment these are mostly used so here we can go back and whatever the field you have chosen so for that you need to like if you want that field to be maintained as mandatory you can select this checkbox and then system is going to check if the information is provided for that segment profit center or for that business area if not then system is going to give the error message then after that we can come out of here and we can activate the document splitting here the last option is activate the document splitting in this we need to select both of these two check boxes document splitting activation and inheritance and after that if this document splitting activation we are we are activating at which level at a client level at a client level so for example for that client if we have 30 company codes so for let's say 5 10 company code we don't want to activate this document splitting so we can also have a option to de deactivate the document splitting for those company codes. So how we can deactivate for this? You can just see your left side. There is an option called deactivation per company code. You can click on this and if so let's say for the triple zero one company code or for whatever the company code you have for which you don't want to use the document splitting, you can select the checkbox. So if you select the checkbox, then document splitting will be key, will will be inactive for that particular company code and if this checkbox is selected then document splitting will be activated for that particular company code so for example here if we just check for double to double four so you can just see the checkbox is deselected it means it is activated for our company code after this we can come out of here and we can test our document splitting by posting a document and let it be the document as a expense document we can have a ap line item or ap invoice and for this ap invoice we can go to the transaction code it is f-43 we can give the information in the document header the company code id double two double four currency usd and then we can give here the vendor information press f4 key to select the vendor Company code ID double two double four. Vendor we have hundred six zero three. Enter. And with how much amount? Let it be two hundred thousand amount. And then we can come down here. This is what purchase invoice. We can have here the posting key for the consumption GL. Consumption GL. Four hundred thousand is the consumption GL account expense account. And for this expense account, we want to assign out of this 200,000, 150,000 we want to assign. And this consumption account is going to hit the cost center ID 440101. And with this cost center, we have assigned our profit center. 
and we have also assigned the segment in that profit center. Then we can go to the segment. Uh, so we can go to the text. And this is what this is the purchase invoice. Again, we have the 40 posting key for the consumption GL. And consumption GL and this we want to this time. Consumption GL we will be having the amount as 50,000 out of this 200,000. Then the cost center is going to be. It is double four zero two. Zero one. So with this zero two zero one, we have assigned the second profit center and second segment. After that, we can come down here. We can have the text as plus and we can overview this document. So you can just see this is the document we have. So this document is balanced. Why? Because this difference is coming as zero and we have the same amount on debit and credit side DNC. Now we can save it. Click on the save option. So the document got posted and here we have the document number 200. It is 2 all 0 5. Now we can display this document. Go to the menu document display. And you can just see here. This is the document and this document view. We call it as entry view. This view we call it as document entry view. Now what we need to have, we need to have the GL view. General ledger view. Why? Because as per the entry view, why we call it as entry view? Because this is the document posted, posted by the user, and this is how this entry has happened. And that is the reason we call it as entry view. So this document, this line item system will just show you as it is. This was posted during the document entry, and how the system is going to transform or the system is going to translate. System is going to translate this document according to the new general ledger accounting that we'll just see after the document splitting. So you can just see here we have for this line item, and this is the AP line item amount is 200,000. We can just see here for these two, for these two line item, expense line item, we can just see we have the information according to the profit center and according to the segment. And if we are maintaining our reporting according to the profit center and according to the segment, so this will fulfill our criteria. But what about this line item? And likewise, we will be having multiple line item on the APR side. So this is not going to give us the true value for our financial reporting, which we are doing as per the profit center or as per the segment. So that is the reason we are using this document splitting, which is going to split this amount according to the purchase value. So how we can see that for that you need to click on this GL view, GL or journal ledger view. Now you can just see system has split that 200,000 amount according to your purchase value, which is 150,000, 50,000. So this you can just see 150,000 system has assigned to the profit center and segment, and this remaining 50,000 system has assigned to the next to the second profit center and segment. And you can also see here earlier it was showing you the sub ledger account. Now we can just see here it is coming your general ledger account. Okay, so general ledger account is 10500. 10500. And if you just see entry view, it is showing your sub ledger account. And you can just see the posting key also. It is coming as 30, but as per the GL view, so the system has just maintained the posting key again. It is 31 only, and it is 10500. And uh, if we add the text, so now here we have the input text. So again, same uh, same way, the text amount will be split by the system based on the purchase value according to your profit center and segment uh, reporting. Okay, so that's this is the document splitting we have. 